Welcome back to TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to dive into a crucial aspect of organizing your Shopify store, which is the sub collections. So, if you have a large number of products, sub collections are essential for creating a product. Let's get started. First, make sure that you are logged into your Shopify administrator panel. Here, I want to focus into the left section, then navigate directly through products, and then click and down here into the sub menu that says collections. Now this is where you managed all your connections. Your collections are a group of products that share common characteristics. The so sub-collections are essentially collections nested within other collections creating a hierarchical structure. So the, um, here what I need to do of course is to getting started with the concept of collections. So you might have a main collection called clothing for example or Christmas or snowboards as we have here. So within that, for shirts, pants, and dresses, this helps customers easily navigate your store and find what they're looking for easier. So before we create a sub collection, we need a main collection to nest it within. So let's create one start collection. By first of all, what I need to do is to analyze what are my products that I'm actually selling. So for example, I have snowboards and into the upper side, I have slippers. So slippers are faster to make a internet collection. So let's say for example that I create one, create collections, and in the title, let's say for example, holidays. Now here in the description, you can just type for example, give a description, this is totally optional, and you can choose a collection type. You can choose manual or automated for this example. Let's choose a manual as we wanted to have full control over which product are included. So you can also add a collection image to set that the CEO title description once you're done you can click into save into the upper side now you can also add a collection image but now that we have our main collection let's create a sub collection so I'm gonna create now a new collection and let's create one let's create uh, a new collection and let's create a sub collection, which in this case this should be called as we have holidays. Let's type, for example, Christmas. And once again, I go for collection typed, I add it to manual. So give a title, give a description, and again, let's choose manual for the collection type. Let's hit now to save. Now, here is the key part to make this a sub collection, we will use the collection text in the text section. For example, we can focus into down here. Let's go for save. Now I'm going to add my products, which in this case, this are this three elements inside this sub collection. I wanted, of course, to add a sub tag. If you're not able to add a sub tag, you have to worry about it. Let's just focus now down here where it says online store. And then let's go, for example, into this section that says pages. Into pages or into my online store, go for preferences. And I'm going to update the menu bar. Here is my header and here is my main menu. I'm going to hit into the editor. Let's go for edit. This should be sending us into the content menus. Inside content, I'm going to click into menus. And here I have the catalog. So into my catalog, I can add a sub menu. For example, add new menu item. And here into the label, let's go for collections and type holidays. So my label should be holidays. And we can filter collections that focuses here into holiday. Then I hit into save. I'm going to put this just right into home on my way down and then inside holidays i'm going to add a new menu item and the label should be christmas and the link should be for collections and focus to christmas once again here i have christmas and holiday there we go now what i need to do is just to put christmas just uh, below holidays and just drag it a little bit to the right. So this one should be now be converted into a sub menu. If you want to, I can add a new sub menu inside holidays and let's say they go for slippers. 
and let's go for collections or products and I add for example this one and this slipper should be a sub menu of Christmas so I have two sub menus inside one of them right and hit now into save and the name of it should be main menu if you had created a new main menu make sure that this one is the one you're going to be using by going back into the editor click into your menu and select to replace it for the one that you have chosen in my case I choose this main menu and go back and here it is so when I click into holidays this is my sub menu added Christmas and the new one should be a slipper so when I click on it automatically should be sending me into this specific slipper so um, this is how it actually works to into the main menu to edit it so repeat the process for more sub collections if you wanted to so visit your store you should see that here the holidays should be appearing as a menu item to so see the actual element I'm gonna click here for example I was noble and Christmas has not been enabled so the customers can now easily navigate to the specific crowd categories they're interested in the sub collections are a really fantastic way to organize your Shopify store making this easier for customers to find what they need and improving their overall shopping experience by following these steps you can create a clear and intuitive product structure if you find the story helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Express more in-depth Shopify tutorials and text inside. Leave your questions and comments below and we'll be sure to address them. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video.